Hi guys, it's Shell and Clint. Hello everybody. <laughs> uh, Clint's going to do the video for today. He's going to be working on a cover I know, for our next project. I However, know. I wanted, sorry, wanted to show you guys these. <coughs> these are the ones, if you remember when we were doing the coffee dyeing, I laid, um, I put the paper on the foil and then it was coffee dyed and then I put like the, um, this was a paper doily. I laid that down and then I put more coffee on top of that and then I just kind of smeared it out so it was totally covered and again this was the paper and that's how it turned and then I just let it dry overnight and that's how it turned out. Not super brilliant but I mean you can totally see the lace and I think it's really pretty but let me show you the ones we did with the plastic pieces. Isn't that beautiful? Again, you just coffee dye your paper, set it out while it's still wet. Then you're going to put your doily on top, add more coffee, and just kind of smear it. So this is like double coffee dyed. That's why it's a little bit darker. And because it laid flat, most, most of the areas are really beautiful. So, and then those placemats I got. Isn't that awesome? And, I mean, it's just so clear. It just looks so cool. So, I was really happy with how this turned out. Uh, if you're interested in watching the process, um, I will link that below. Uh, the coffee dye process. But, yeah, that's what I did. Again, I just let it dry overnight. These were doilies that I purchased on Amazon. And, I think they turned out so fun. What do you guys think? Okay, uh, that's all I had to show you guys. I looked at these this morning, and I was so thrilled with them that I had to show you. So, Clint will be here in just a second. Hello, guys. I am back. Uh, today, I am doing a cover. Uh, I'm doing my accordion cover. Um, I came up with it a few months back or something. I don't remember when it was. Um, but I'm doing it different today. Um... I'm doing it in sections. One one reason is that when I did this, I really wanted to be able to uh, have my measurement of how wide the spine was going to be before I folded it. So I went ahead, and that's one reason why I did it this way. And I got all three pieces. All of them have sticky crap on both sides, so we're good there. That's what I was doing. And uh, I got the fabric. So this is the spine. Uh, the first one I did, I used a thin, thin material for the spine, which worked good for the spine, but it it was a little flimsier. So uh, I happen to still have a few of the thicker, thicker interfacing. So I went ahead and I made this the. Uh, the cover, the, the, oh, the front and back, the same out of the thick, out of the thick interfacing, so it'd be a little bit sturdier, but we still had the flexibility of the spine using the thinner interfacing. So, our fabrics are, this is the spine, so I'm going to go ahead and do it first. So, this is one of the fabrics we came up with. We're doing the spine in a different fabric than, um, The cover, so it's gonna kind of be a butterfly journal. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of a butterfly journal, and I checked. I was hoping this would be, I wouldn't have to, but this is nine and a half. My cover is nine by, or my spine is nine by five. I think it was five and a quarter. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I couldn't. No, it was right at five. So the cover, if I remember right. The sections those are five and a no they're nine inches and then five and a quarter wide yeah five and a quarter so um, this is the one I'm going to use for the outside of the spine so I'm going to get it and oh dad you see that right <laughs> hi 
Deb, Debbie. Do you see this? So, uh, Debbie, when I did the last one, uh, she said I was afraid of mitering my corners, but I really wasn't. I hadn't. I wanted to really practice with it because I've never done that before, so I wasn't exactly how to do it. So, and I figured this actually would be a good one to do it on. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to fold it inside out. So, let me turn my thing over. I don't know if, I, if you guys remember, I was telling you that uh, the sticky crap will come through on uh, through the fabric. So, uh, and it will stick to your iron. And make you mad. And it will make you very irritated. And so I kind of, uh, I'm going to go about a half an inch, I think, is where I'm about, I'm gonna, I'll end up trimming it, of course, but uh, it will make you irritated. Yes, it will make you very irritated. So, I, uh, obviously, I have the baker's paper, so I'm just going to put it there. And iron, and then I'll trim this piece. I think this is going to be really pretty. So that is the, the, the spine. Here is, this is what, the inside, hun? Yeah. This is the inside. And this here um, is going to be the outer cover. So... I'm excited. I think it's going to be really neat. Uh, very different than what I've done before. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I really liked my accordion uh, cover. Or accordion spine. And how it turned out. And I've been wanting to do another one. But I really, like I said, I wanted to make sure. Wait a minute. That's right, yeah. I'm sorry. My mind some days... I was thinking I made it shorter, but I didn't. I was thinking about the sticky crap. I did kind of try to make it shorter so it wouldn't stay on the, uh, uh, wouldn't have any sticky crap coming off the edge and sticking on my iron or anything. So, trying to be careful. I had just, well, I ironed papers yesterday with my iron because it's, uh, with it being an antique and it's a solid base, it really isn't that big of a deal to um, uh, clean it, you know, uh, with the coffee. So I did it that way just to make life easier. So I cleaned it yesterday to make sure everything was good with it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do all my... Um, Piece, outside pieces first that way I don't get ahead of myself and really mess up so I don't want to do that so but yeah I'm kind of excited about mitering the edges so. Oops. okay so let me put that here my sewing machine I have everything together with the there they are okay I hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday uh, I got news this morning at 8 o'clock my chickens are up in Dove Creek which is nine miles north of here so uh, they're gonna bring them down about 1030 so I'm really excited I can't wait to show it to you guys they are the sweetest, babe. I just love my Dutch bannies. How are you going to talk to them, hon? Oh, I was informed by Gwendolyn that I can't say hoy, 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 because that's human. I go, go, talk, talk, talk. <laughs> and hopefully you're pronouncing it right. Yeah, hopefully. She didn't tell me how to pronounce it. I guess I need to look it up. So, but yeah, I'm very excited. I can't wait to show them to you guys. And I'm going to keep, we'll show them on this channel too. But we'll also show them on our other channel too. But I know you guys would love to see them. So I'm very, yeah. So let's take one of these. And, uh, 
but Shell's going to be using some really beautiful paper and digitals. Do you, did you tell him about the digitals, Pink? Yeah. Oh, you showed him, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, she's going to be decorating it using some of her um, butterfly digitals that she has in the Etsy store. So, that's kind of cool. There, I'm going to have to do it back and forth. So. But, yeah, so I'm excited. I do got a lot to do. I still got to get the shed cleaned out, which really isn't that bad. It doesn't sounds worse than it is I mean uh, there's room in the shed I just got to reorganize it and make sure that you know it's safe. safe for them I don't want any animals getting in there and they really the door does close good so I'm not too worried about that but I got to run uh, the extension cord out there uh, I'm going to go ahead, even though I'm, I'm crippled up really bad today, it's worse than yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and I did, I tried to do chores yesterday, but it didn't happen. I uh, went out to check on the, the chickens and they had um, food, but they were low in the water. So I went ahead and watered them. I checked the Banny, Banny babies and they needed water. So, uh, but I'm going to feed all the chickens today, and um, I don't need to water them today. So I've got chores to do. I really got to, and plus I got to work on the ink blender blanks. So it's going to be kind of a, I have to be careful. I have to work tomorrow. I have, uh, I think, three jobs tomorrow, but they're local. I don't have anything in Durango or anything. Hopefully n nothing this week. Just a few, few locates here and there. Around here, it shouldn't take too long. So, but it's going to be nice to get a few things done. I really want trying to crank out those blenders as many as I can, the blender blanks, so I can, um, you know, concentrate on getting everything carved and sand but I want because that lathe is a little heavy and the shell just not film very good I carried it out Sunday by myself so she wasn't well, very happy with me but you know oh well have fun so you know I really needed but I managed to take it out by myself I just didn't want her to she was already hurt and I'm not going to make her hurt worse you know so I don't really want to bring that back in until I'm ready for uh, so I'm hoping I think I got 24 yesterday or 24 done Sunday I think it was um, pretty sure that's how many it was something like that I know it was a lot uh, it went really quick because I had uh, I had um, the uh, I used the table saw again to, uh, I narrowed down my, my wood to run it through my lathe, which that made things a lot faster because they were a lot closer to the, the actual size I needed them to be. So that helped. Uh, so I've got, I don't know, I probably got about, I would say probably 200 out there to make blanks out of. Um, so I got a lot that I, huh? What do you mean? Oh, I am. I'm just ironing right now, hon. Oh, yeah, no. I told him I'm just ironing the covers on. Might be too. She's got her ear things on so she's not paying attention. <laughs> so she's still got pretty I know her she's got a headache, pretty good headache. Sunday kicked I me mean, kicked my butt and then working Monday. So I'm battling it to the last few days. 
uh, Mr. Blanks is not, um, it's very painful, because I have to bend over and everything to, to do it, but I want to get as many done. My goal is to have hundreds and hundreds of done blanks made for this winter, so I won't ever have to do it inside, just sand. I'd like that. I enjoy the sanding. I just sit and just watching the birds and stuff like that. So, she's talking to one of the cats, but I don't know who it is. I think it might be my Artie. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. You've got lots of plans and. Not too strenuous plans, and like I said, I got to do the uh, get my rubber made, put in the shed for the baby. So I have bought one Monday when I was in Durango, and it's a pretty good size. And uh, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna keep about. I've had to buy 30. They require that you buy 30 and so uh we had one time we had like 30 goats and uh this one kid took him his name is archer and a very nice young man uh he him and his wife opened a feed store so i had talked to them when i first found out i was going to order the dutch and um asked him asked his wife and so I told him I was just going to give them to, to you. I'm not really too worried about, um, you know, I don't want, I just don't want to kill them, you know, because I don't like doing that. So he needed me to do a locate, so we're going to work out. Uh, I'm going to buy a couple of his full-size chickens. His, um, they're already fed, starting to feather out and everything. I guess they're from a local nurse or uh, hatchery here which I didn't but so they're not like purebred but we need them for eggs because we really our chickens are getting old so um really do need to have okay have eggs so I'm assuming I am supposed to be putting it right there let me turn down my iron it's going to be a few minutes so let me cut all my corners on this. Okay. So far so good. Did I do that one or did I mess up? Okay, I had crinkled the fabric so I was afraid I messed up. And I had worried this wouldn't cover the spine was one of my concerns. Not the spine, but the edge of the interface. But, I, so, what I am thinking, like I said, I'm, did I take this? Okay, I took the paper off already. So, I would think you'd go, what are you doing? Oh, I see now. Oh, that's neat. Well, that's kind of cool, guys. Mitering my corners. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. I know, see? Well, I didn't make sense how it worked to me. I really didn't. See? Proud of you, baby. Aren't you proud of him, Deborah? I could have made it a little bit. Um, that's perfect. Well, I know, but it's hard for me to pull it. Well, just pull one side at a time. Yeah, I know. It makes me too hard. Oh, are you? No. Oh, there's the wind. I didn't think it's supposed to be windy today. Dang it! I'm so unbelievably sick of this wind. I didn't think it was supposed to be windy today. I try to watch the news. I know you know. Been off and on. We've been in that 
a red flag warning was as bad as the winds have been, but yeah, I didn't notice that it was going to be windy today. And, you know, Sunday was really, got really windy too. And that kind of made it kind of nice in a way because it, if I uh, had my uh, lace right, I got out of all the wind in my face. So that was kind of nice to, to have it that way. Okay, let me put one right here. And then. So I'm, I, this is going to be so neat. I'm so excited about this. Wilbert was picking on Mama this morning. It was quite funny. He was, he was full of piss and vinegar this morning. It was hilarious. He's quite the little guy, that guy. Sure love that little turd. It was so funny. He was laying with me, and she, I think, came out of the bathroom or something, or in the, out of the kitchen or something. And he seen her, and he was so excited, and he. I put him down and he ran to her and stretched up his legs and wanted her to pick her up. I was thinking, oh, that's just cute. Yeah, he's quite the little guy, that little, our little Wilbur. It's funny, I was watching the truck, sh um, it's called Mountain Mud Haulers, it's loggers up in Canada, I think is where it is. And he said something about special kind of, and I thought he was going to say special kind of crazy to do it. But he said something else, but I, that was the first thing in my mind was, Wilbur is a special kind of crazy at times. Isn't he, hon? She's not listening. She's making up something to put lunch. I made gumbo this week. And so I had gumbo yesterday. It was really good. I really like my gumbo. So we got a really pretty, um, oh, what do you call it? Oh, uh, the crinkly crap. We got a really pretty uh, pink crinkly crap to go for the. Uh, lacing and or the lace and also lacing of the spine and also the um, uh, tie so it's gonna I think it's gonna be really pretty Thank you, Deb. I'm glad I, I've really been, well, I've, you know, Gwenthalyn has said stuff about mitering the edges, but I've never, I, in my mind, I was thinking of something different, and, and I was thinking it was how you f folded it. I didn't realize it was a cutting, how you cut it. I didn't realize that, so I'm really glad, you know, she would given this to us, that way I can use it and really practice with it oh she's making toast that's what it is she makes her toast in an oven an actual oven and broil do you guys do that i don't know i always use the toaster um but she does cinnamon but or you know she puts the cinnamon sugar on it before she toasts it in the oven so Really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling him that it was a different way. Huh. Oh, are you watching Miss Gail? Gail. I was going to say, retreat. when's her retreat? I think she leaves today. Oh, wow. Have fun. Mm -hmm. She's so excited. 
talking about Gail Gustinelli and her retreat trip. That's so neat that she gets to do that. Really. Oh, I bet. I imagine it'd be hard being, you know, tied to the house so much. I I wouldn't mind it just because I've driven all my life. I'm tired of driving. So. Not much else is going on. There was a cut fiber in Bayfield yesterday. Brand new fiber. They just buried it like summer or fall. Brand spanking new fiber. And they didn't mark it. So wasn't ours. I we have fiber close by, so we get the emergency. And I called my fast track up and I said, "Do you have any troubles on a fiber in Bayfield?" And he called me back. Said no. I said okay. Well, and I got to, I was taking a nap when it came in. I texted him. I said, "Well, it says locate front a lot. And we don't have our fibers in the back of the church, so." I was pretty certain it was that brand new fiber because I remember when they buried it. So, yeah, I don't think CenturyLink was very, very happy about that. Which I can understand. They've been having lots of cuts. Luckily, you know, I was thinking, well, thank God it was them and not us. You know. But they've been burying that water line for a while, so I knew really where they were working, so... We really didn't have anything in any of it. So I didn't think it was us, but taking a nap and everything, and I thought, well, I better, you know, you always, always want to do a, you know, investigate it and make sure it isn't, you know. Because plans change, you know, they could have very easily dug out of their um, locate, so you just don't know. So I really wanted to double check on it. But thank God it wasn't us. And, but yeah, brand spanking new fiber. You know, they they fix them. But the thing is, anytime something is damaged, it's damaged. That changes that utility. It changes that phone line. It's never, never the same after it's been cut. Whether, you know, they can fix it to before it, you know, as it was, but it will never ever be the same. It's always going to be a damaged fiber. So it's kind of very not a good thing, that's for sure. I had a few of them hit around here. They have one that shut down Telluride and Rico and everything. All the cell services that one not that one but the one down in Cortez did oh. when they were redoing the highway it, they hit it and it, I think if I remember right it was marked yeah. well yeah because the 911 and stuff it yeah um, yeah there's a lot that that fiber carries so you know if there's a fiber hit here it shuts down most of the west slope you know so it's not a good thing to have happen but like i said i'm just glad it wasn't us because i make mistakes too but luckily i don't make them very often that's the good thing I didn't bother pinning it. It seems to be gluing down really nice, so. This is the spine, so here's the other. Okay. <clears throat> sure do love my sticky crap. <laughs> Just nice, it really is nice to work with. Just makes things so much easier to, to do. 
my sticky crap. Yeah, if you go, just ask for sticky crap. Just say, if you don't know exactly what it's called, if you forget, just say, I need that sticky crap you use to put fabrics together with other fabrics, and I should know what sticky crap is. At least that's what I've been informed. That's what someone told us, so I can't remember who it was, but it made my day. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Man, it's howling out there, huh? It is, too. I didn't think it was supposed to be windy. Right now working out there? No, not like this. I mean, just work on the chicken pen and stuff. No, I'm not going to be able to do it if it's like this. It just, I don't know, my wind gauge isn't working right now. I don't know why, but it's probably blowing 20 mile an hour or more. It is just howling, howling. Now they had some weather on the east slope of Colorado yesterday. It had a few tornadoes, hail, quite a bit of severe weather watching the weather channel and they had were showing tornadoes oops what it done the other side huh guys let me wipe that off because I really don't want to get that on my on this there we go thought I did all the edges but you know looking at my finger this morning and I do not believe it's going to work I think it's not going to be um, uh, I don't think it's going to grow right my nail because uh, it was an angle I hadn't looked at it something just keeps nagging at me that it's not right because when I had my thumb surgery uh, you know it wasn't like hamburger like my nail was but it was just a straightforward nail growth and it ended up getting affected at the very tip because the, the tip started going into the skin sorry if you guys are eating breakfast but you know um so that was stressing you know and on this one you can't the, the nail right there is actually, you can even see it's growing into, downward into the fingertip. So, I don't know. I don't think it's... Uh, if he ends up doing more surgery, I'm just going to tell him to get rid of it. I'm not going to fight, keep fighting this over and over and having to spend money when he should just cut the dumb thing off to begin with. So, we'll see. I go back I think sometime in July unless of course it gets infected then God dang it. No. It actually got clogged up just from right then. I had a pin somewhere. Like where? <laughs> so we'll see how it's going to work. I don't know. Oh, dang it. you got to be kidding me. Whoa, boy, that came out there good. Definitely don't have all the squeezing uh, power on it. Well, where did I put the stupid lid? Huh. I don't know where I put the lid, huh? 
Oh well, I'll we'll find it in a few minutes. Who knows? So I'll get the other fabric on my inside fabric on my spine and then I'll get to folding it so I know how I'm going how it's going to look. I like the Meyer look. I think it's pretty neat. Oh god I just hit my finger. I'm gonna pause it real quick and breathe. Hey I took a breath. Okay now, um, what happened was um, when I was, I dragged my top of, top of the finger on the mat, the cutting mat, so it felt like I sliced it, but luckily I didn't cut it. But man, it hurt. I've done it like twice, two or three times already. So. Oh, wow, hon. That is so pretty, baby. Oh, Had to have Shell help me try to figure out what we were doing with the fabrics. Like, we, you know, we went and got fabrics yesterday. Out to the shed. And... and trying to decide what kind of fabrics but I couldn't remember what order she was having me put them in so because this came out of a kit we bought this kit it might have been Tuesday mornings oh I think it was I think it was uh, I dropped my sewing oh, machine no, I think it was the sewing place over there the stitch that other crafty place that was in like the Walmart Super Center? Hmm, I don't remember. Yeah, we just went in there that once. Oh, over in Durango. Yeah. That's where it was. Okay. I just got a tatty needle and you got some yarn. Yeah, fabric. Fabric, yeah. Man. Uh, if you guys know what is it? Um, American American Patchwork and Quilting, I think, is what it is. Uh, they also have a magazine that's they. Uh, it's called. What is it called? Um, Quilt Sampler. And the Stitch, which is our our, our uh, quilting store here. That we talk about that's where we usually buy fabric uh, they are actually going to be featured in that so that was really exciting Did they tell you that? Uh, it was in the Facebook page oh, fine. yeah so I thought that was kind of neat so, they're such sweet people there I think I was talking I had taken the sewing machine in Monday when I got it so um, to have it's shell sewing machine. It's the one that has the uh, it's a zigzag machine. I really wanted to have a zigzag machine. I have some things I'm going to do with it. So kind of so I took it in and have gonna have it's gonna be a few weeks. I said two or three weeks. That's all right. I said I'm not no hurry about it. So, oh, yeah. Us. No big deal. But I'm really looking forward to uh, using it. I have a project. I started years ago. It's another crap I need to finish. C-I-N-T-F. Crap I need to finish. And it's really neat. It's a wall hanging. It's old man winter. And I've been wanting to do it, but I needed the, her sewing machine to do it, and I'm refusing to use her new stuff. So I figured it was good enough for our ancestors. It's good enough for me. I don't need that. So, because once you see it, you'll understand why I need it. But it is so neat. I, 
when I get the sewing machine back, I'll probably do it. Because, yeah, it's not necessarily a junk journal, but this isn't all junk journaling either. Uh, but you can use the same technique in our junk journals, and that's one reason. So now I've never done this. I'm assuming you would go, huh? Okay, honey. Huh? Yeah. How's that gonna work, hun? Come here, babe. Yes, I did whistle at you. I don't always come when he whistles. <clears throat> okay, what's wrong? Well, this has got to go inside. Well, yeah. But I don't know how much. I guess if I did the end, maybe. Maybe like that. Yeah. I think that would work. Yep. Pretty close to it, huh? That one's a little bit off. Okay. Did you really need my help? Well, yeah, kind of. That's not even right. I'm trying to see what girl's taking on her retreat. You're not Haven't you been watching that for like two weeks, getting just getting around? Don't you know by now? Well, yeah, but every time she shows something different, honey, you need a uh, plug-in for this. Well, go grab it. It's right there. Oh, but I need the thing. I think uh, it's right there too. That. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, he's gonna I don't lose know you guys if he doesn't plug cord. it in. Oh, the extension cord isn't over there. It's right beside you, isn't it? Well, this one is, but here, you do that part. See what I have to put up with. Oh, yeah. Oh, the other end, baby. Oh. Where am I plugging it in at? Oh. <laughs> Just ignore me. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. I'm plugging it in. This shouldn't hurt at all. Oh. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's gonna be right in the way. Uh, well, I know, but I don't know what else to do there. <laughs> Unless you want to get the extension cord over there. Nah, that's too much trouble. Something tells me this is not gonna be a two-parter, just so you know, guys. Oh, no, it's not, honey. Why should it be a two-parter? Well, I didn't think it'd take this long, but... <laughs> but, you know... I, I told him, it's gonna be a two-parter at least. And he's like, no, it's not. So, well... I guess, you know how he is. I guess maybe I was hoping maybe it wasn't going to be a two-parter. I don't know. Maybe that was what it was. So mainly it's just putting all these together now. I love this fabric. That's going to make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover when it's done. Very excited about that. Let's see if I can. Let's fold this under first, I think, before I. I definitely like how the miter edges look. I think that's really very um, kind of professional, or I don't know what the best word is to describe it. Um, hmm. Put together, maybe that's the best. Finished. That's the word I was looking for. It seems very finished, and I like that. And it's, I'm sure it's going to lay a little bit flatter. Well, it will definitely lay flatter on the corners. So that's nice. And have that. Other than that, it's going to be a nice, boring day. It's like my chickens are there. Well, we just dropped off our chickens, so 
um, our male lady, um, Sherry, she gets there about 10 o'clock or so. So as soon as she gets there, I'll probably drive down and grab them real quick. I really like this. Thanks again, Deb. I really do like the miter dead. Um, I tried doing that before, but I never was very straight. And I think that's where what was biting me in the butt was. It was just wasn't straight, and that's probably why I was having such a hard time with it. You know, Boy, it's hard to. Yeah, I do like that. I think that's really pretty. Yeah. Kind of a little bit shorter than I must not want to cut my Huh? Oh really? She's looking at her uh she's doing her looking at all her coffees dyed paper and she said she did more than she had thought she did so that's good yeah I sat there for probably about a half hour or so uh, ironing I didn't move I sat in the chair and I used a TV tray in me because uh, she had them on the dishwasher so I couldn't really move that's when I was really starting to be bad so I just sat there and did it that way. I really like that looks of coffee guy paper. It's such a beautiful. I mean, it, the designs I was getting just by ironing. I was just so over the moon about it. I really was. I was just enjoying it so much. Because that's, you know, I don't normally do that, but. So I, I was having fun with it, I must say. Didn't do it all. I was going to come in here and then do more. And we ended up eating and I was in so much pain and I just didn't even want to. I just sat in my chair and that's pretty much if I went to sleep, we even lay down earlier than we normally do. I was ready to lay down at four. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm good. I did take a nap yesterday, and I did take one of my muscle relaxers. So they have a tendency if I take it for a nap, they knock me out. What do you think? I think you did a darn good job. So, I think we're probably getting close on time. I think we probably are, and plus, you only have like 30 minutes or so. Yeah, she was there. 40 minutes or so. She just brought him down. So, yeah. So, so I'm going to, uh, guys, I'm going to carry, um, I'm going to do this later. I'm going to miss, we'll call the end of this video. And then we'll do another one later on today for tomorrow. Because um, I really need to get the shed ready. Uh, she dropped off the chickens. So, Sherry's going to be there in a half hour so. I need to get the shade ready, so we're going to let you go. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up, and please stay tuned and see how this is going to come out. I mean... Oh, let me go get that thing, and I'll show them what's this back for your birthday. Oh, I'm yeah, because you forgot yesterday. I'm just going to get one up. So, so that's going to be the spine. This will be the cover. Uh, I think it's going to be beautiful, guys. I can't wait. Uh, and then I'll just sew it, obviously, is what I'll do. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it. This is going to be a fun, fun project. So, uh, here's what Sis got me. She bought me this and two hot pads. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's funny myself. I really liked it. Go ahead. It was quite humorous. I think Sis thought it was funnier than we did, but it's cute. Isn't that awesome? Grab your balls. It's canning season. Sis <laughs> love that. And then 
Uh, just want to let you guys know there will be, I think, four more of these in the store. They're um, ink. They're, they're thin. glue pen dangles. So it has a stainless steel pen. It has a plastic little piece right here. And then you put it in your glue, kind of like Gail does. I did make the one that she's using. And if you want to put like the one thing on it, the um, knitting piece, then you can purchase that and get that yourself. But you can pick those up at knitting Hobby Lobby. Piece? Yeah, they're knitting needles. They, they go on the end of knitting needles. That's what... Um, Oh, for your cap? Gail has on hers, yeah. Oh, okay. But she just put the pen right through that. But, yeah, That's we will have some more of these in the store. I'm waiting uh, on Elizabeth to get back to me. So, Elizabeth, if you're watching this and you haven't contacted me, please check your Etsy and send me a message because I totally messed up. So, thank you, guys. Well, once again, uh, please hit the give the video a thumbs up and uh, please hit the subscribe button please stay tuned for the continuation of the cover uh, like I said I'll probably film it later on today <laughs> uh, but we just want to say thank you for visiting and jo uh, joining us crafting hope everyone has a wonderful day and, we'll and talk we to love you guys yes. except that one person who gives us a thumbs down yeah one person <laughs> keeps giving a thumbs down I told Whatever. who was that? Oh, Betty said something. I said, well, that one. I said they can stick that thumbs thumbs down where it will do some good. <laughs> so, but thank you guys. We love you and being part of our YouTube family. Thank you so much for that. And we will talk to you in the next video. Yes, and there will be a short video on uh, the chickens too. Just let you guys yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to get that put up today. Yeah, she will, because like I said, I'll get everything straightened out for the babies. So, they're so tiny, they're about that big. Yeah. They're so. little bitty things. So, uh, thank you for visiting. We'll talk to you later. Tutzines. Tutzines.